Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with another four-box break of 2018 Panini Chronicles Baseball. Um, this is break number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up. Like double mint, double mint gum. All teams are in. This is not the dice roll. That was from a different break. New dice roll. 11 times, 6 and a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, and final time. After 11 times, we've got Mark down to Charles. And then once again, 11 times for the teams. 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. The final time. After eleven times, we've got the Pirates on top and the Brewers on the bottom. All right. So Mark with the Pirates. John with the Yankees, Charles with the Rays, Paul with the Mariners, Mark with the Tigers, Andrew with the Cardinals, Mark with the A's, Fidel with the Royals, Mark with the Indians, John with the Astros, Scott, you've got these three right here, Phillies, Mets, Nationals, John with the Padres, Fidel with the White Sox, David with the Rockies, Mark with the Giants, John with the Cubs, Scott with the Rangers, Charles with the Orioles, Scott with the Marlins, Charles with the Dodgers, Scott with the Twins, David with the Braves, Paul Coolwit with the Angels, David with the Blue Jays, Andrew, you got the Red Sox, David Duffy with the Reds, Mark Glassman with the Diamondbacks, and Charles Furry with the Brew Crew. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? While you're considering trades, let's consider which stack of Chronicles boxes we should do. So there's four, four, and four right here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next four boxes already in this. Did I post the next four boxes? I think I did. Yeah, the next four boxes already in the store. Check it out. So this is break six. Next one's break seven, obviously. All right, TWC trade window closed. All right, so here's the official printout right here. Marlins and Mets are your last bought mojo teams, Scott McNulty. Good luck. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. So we're watching baseball. We're watching a little soccer. It's rivalry week for, for the ML. I'm sure everyone's watching the soccer. LAFC faces my galaxy in about half an hour or so. A lot of baseball games in progress. A lot of baseball games close to finishing. And I think a lot of a lot of my picks today are, are doing well, which, which makes me happy because my picks have not been going well in August. Early rest of the other parts of the season, they were fine. It happens, just like case breaks. You win some, you lose some. There's Christian Villanueva. And we've got, nice, the professor, Greg Maddox, 15 out of 25. Jersey, four, David Duffy and the Braves. Nice. All 
Oh, yeah, I was looking for that. Game use memorabilia. Nice. Anthony Stantner for the O's. That'll be for Charles Fergie and the Orioles. Orioles tied with the Yankees 4-4 right now. In the top of the ninth, they're hosting the Yankees. There's Ozzy Albius to 149. And we've got Dan Vogelbach for the Mariners. Remember Dan Vogelbach? Paul Cool Whit with the Mariners. Now, yeah, all for entertainment purposes, of course, Eric Bailey. If anybody was foolish enough to follow any of my wagers in August, that's on that's on them. <laughs> I, I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> I'm I'm not a tout. I am not a sharp by any means. Just a dude putting numbers into an old school computer. And trying to attempting to find a little value. Nothing wrong with that. All right, that Reggie Jackson, Yankees edition, going to John. We've got. Crusade autograph, Franmil Reyes for the Padres. That'll go to John. Right, I'm no, I'm no Vegas Dave or Ace Rothstein. I'm not, I'm not hosting a show called Aces High with Ace Rothstein. It's Aces High with Ace Rothstein. J.P. Crawford. And Victor Caratini. Also, so we're watching Orlando FC play Atlanta. This is supposed to be rivalry week. Is there really a rivalry between Atlanta and Orlando? Is that rivalry really happening? All right, next box. That 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 famous uh, that famous Orlando. This is like Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers, Giants, Orlando FC, Atlanta United FC. I mean, those are the classics right there. Lakers, you know, Lakers, Celtics, Orlando FC, Atlanta United FC. Those are the classic rivalries. Cardinals, Cubs, Atlanta, Orlando. I know I saw that, Patrick. Good, for, good, cool. <laughs> I don't know anything about Toronto FC. I have no comment. That's why I have no comment. Sorry, Shane. Yeah, you got to watch Casino tonight. Take a drink every time they use the F word. <laughs> All right, there's Glaber Torres. Jose Altuve to 299. And we've got Mitch Garver. That goes to Scott and the Twins. Casino is great. Um, every time, so uh, so my kid sister works uh, in Las Vegas um, for the win. There's Clint Frazier, and uh, w whenever me and my cousins go there, we always get breakfast somewhere. We always do the blueberry thing, the blueberry muffin thing, where where Robert De Niro goes, "Look at your blueberry muffin, and look at yours." And then one has a lot of blueberries in it, and one only has like two blueberries in it. And then he goes to the chef and he goes, I want you to put an equal amount of blueberries in each one. And the chef looks at him incredulously and goes, do you know how, you realize how long that's going to take? He's like, I don't care. Just do it. And I was like, yeah, equal blueberries and all those muffins. That's what I want to see. 
All right, Addison Russell, heirs to the throne relic. See, now I'm gonna, now I have to watch Casino tonight, Shane. <laughs> it's aces high with Ace Rostein. Oh yeah, I just noticed what you said, Eric. This is true, actually. Um, guys that are true sharps don't need to sell their picks. You guys have to worry about the guys that are selling their picks. Hey, I'm I'm Sharp Joe Jaspi on the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! I've got three best bet picks for you this weekend. My, I am. 12 and 4 on my last college football games on a Friday night on the West Coast. Just call 1 800. There's Andrew Stevenson, Scott McNulty with that. I'm sure everyone's heard. If you'd listen to enough sports talk radio, you'll catch some of those guys. Just buy my pick package this week. Willie Adams. Rays. That'll go to Charles Fergie. Yeah, Shane. Look what they did to my hand, man. These guys are serious. Good use of Scorsese always always makes good use of voiceovers. Usually voiceovers are a are a bit of a crutch in movies to explain things, but he uses them so well. The Rot De Niro vo And of course like the the shot that shows like like the you know the box man's watching the this guy and the floor boss is watching this watching the box man and the eye in the sky is watching this all. There's Chris Bryant to seventy five. That goes to John and the Cubs. Well, then, if you're gonna watch Casino, Shane, you, then, you, then you gotta you gotta follow that up with Little Goodfellas. It's a good companion piece there. Gotta watch Goodfellas. <laughs> I thought you were saying you're all right, Spider. No, I wasn't saying. No, but I thought you were saying, all right, Spider, like you was all right. <laughs> Yadier Molina. And Gabriel Yanoa for the O's. Charles Fergie with the Orioles. And, wow, nice. Rookie reserve signatures. Alex Verdugo surely would be a September call-up for my Dodgers, Charles Fergie. Maybe he can inject a little energy into their offense. Him and DJ Peters, maybe. Six out of 49 on that one. Dodgers playing the Padres tonight. They're just getting warmed up, it looks like. There's Juan Soto, 20 out of 99. I think Amber was saying earlier, if someone gets a Soto autograph, she may be willing to trade a, a nice one of one. There's Zach Granite for the Twins. So Scott McNulty, if Scott McNulty gets. I like the classics look. There's Verdugo again. And Miguel Andujar, triple threat, triple relic for the Yankees. John with the Yankees. There you go, John. Is Verdugo a starter next year? That's a good question. We were, we were actually discussing this last night, Eric Bailey. On, on my, I was ranting about my frustration with the Dodgers offense. And I was like, well, at some point you got to say that, that Matt Kemp turned into 
you know, what Matt Kemp usually is and has been the last few years, you know, what's Chris Taylor was kind of a flash, did excellent last season, but obviously struggling this season. Jock Peterson not a, is not really an everyday player, right? Although he has improved his swing quite a bit. You know, Yasiel Puig seems to be a little too inconsistent. So maybe you give start giving guys like Verdugo a chance. You know, maybe DJ Peters. Maybe put a Bryce Harper back there. I don't know. Um, there's Jose Abreu for the White Sox. That'll be for Fidel Cairo. But every time, yeah, every time he's been called up, he hasn't really lit the world on fire. So I think there, he's kind of a, a, a tweener, an in-betweener. He'd be a quadruple A guy. <laughs> you know, he, he has kind of outgrown triple A. Has outgrown triple A, but not quite ready for every day. At least not right now. But yeah, I think I think TJ's right. I mean, he he probably be he probably be a good trade piece though in the off season. I don't know for who, but he could get packaged up with somebody. Yeah, I can't really see him like I don't think he wants to start next season again in AAA. I think at some point he'd be like, "Hey, I got to get a shot. Someone's got to give me a shot. Play me or trade me." <laughs> All right, last box. Good luck everybody. Break 6. But I don't know, that Do Dodgers team might look very different next year. Or they, that Dodgers outfield might look very different next year. I think the infield is pretty much set. Even if they re-sign Machado with Corey Seager coming back. You don't know how Corey Seager is going to be after Tommy John. And he got a hip surgery. You don't know what's ha going to happen there. So I think they may go and re-sign Machado, get him in there, and then figure it, they'll figure it out. Right, I think Puig is a free agent after this year. So I think that that off outfield could look very different. There's J.P. Crawford. There's Shane Bieber, who I think has been had some pretty decent starts. All right. Nice Mike Trout, and nice Herman Marquez. Autograph for Colorado. The Colorado Rockies, the Montañas. Montañas for David Duffy. Mounts? Rockies? I don't know what... Como se dice Rockies in Espanol? Montañas? Miguel Andujar. And we've got Felix Jorge for the Twins. That goes to Scott McNulty. Yeah, Verdugo probably can't get replace Puig. Yeah, he's kind of a quadruple A guy, I think, is what he's kind of turning out to be. Or just may not have, may just may not have time, you know, for, at least in the Dodgers organization. David Bodie, season ticket on. He just hit he hit a walk off home run today to beat the Cincinnati Reds in the bottom of the 10th inning. TJ saying, I can't believe... You're right. No, I agree, Eric Bailey. I don't, I don't think they're going to re-sign Yasiel Puig. I think that experiment is over. Although, I do like him. He's a, definitely a fan favorite. I love Jock Peterson too, but I don't think he's going to cut it. I think he only had... Um, he was only—it's only a one-year arbitration thing for Jock Peterson. So I, I don't think—I think they'll let him walk. There's Max Scherzer. So yeah, TJ is like—I can't believe Jock is still. We just keep putting Jock back up there. I think my theory on that is I think they really—I think they. Uh, oh, there's Ryan McMahon. Nice triple threat. I thought they didn't realize there was another hit. David Duffy with that one. I think that I think they really like Champ Peterson. I think everyone loves Champ, so they don't really want to let Jock go. I think that's that's my theory on that. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's a couple more cards back here. That's it, boys and girls. Let me sleeve all of these up. Another good Chronicles break in the books. Thanks to everyone for getting in. And I'm sure we'll be doing some more tonight on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.